everyone so finally getting around to uh, getting a video out so uh, I've been spending a lot of time getting my hydroelectric business up and running um, doing surveys and uh, collecting and finding tools for the workshop um, but in this video we're going to be focusing mostly on doing the staircase for the upper workshop it's going to be cob with wooden treads but before I start that I've found a nice condition lathe and it's currently stuck on uh, the back of my trailer on my van in the middle of a field um, just up there because I got it stuck in the mud trying to turn it around. So I'm going to get dot in the tractor and just pull that out quickly, unload that and then we'll uh, get to working on the stairs. Okay, let's get to work. Right, the lathe's in. So what I've got is a Colchester Triumph 2000 lathe. Um, yeah, what more to say? It's in, we, uh, well I backed the trailer down the slope. It's a tilting trailer, tilted it, and then uh, Dot pulled it off with the tractor while I uh, lowered it off with the winch on the trailer. It was successful. So this lathe's a bit tattier than the other one, but actually condition wise, it's much better, much tighter. It's actually in really good operational condition. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. So it's going in that corner, and um, we're just going to try and shimmy it around there now with some bars and things. And yeah, hopefully, we get it set up, sorted. Right, lathe's in its almost final resting place. It's on bars, ready to be just shifted into the corner once I've done that corner and line washed everything. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to mix up some lime wash now and uh, get the lime wash done all the way around. I'm going to get this, uh, these spare foam boards I've got that are kicking around. I'm going to put them up in the roof, uh, get prepared and tidy, do a cob mix, and then tomorrow I'm going to start doing the stairs. Get the staircase sorted out. So I'm going to cob. It's going to be shaped in cob so that all the treads are even, and then oak treads for um, durability. So yeah, mix up a bit of lime wash and we'll uh, get this lime wash today. Alright, so in there it is wheat falling over. In there is, that's just clay. So I just mixed up some uh, some clay subsoil with water. So that's clay slip basically. It's uh, basically it's acting as a colouring for the lime. Just makes it a bit off white. It's a lot cheaper than, uh, than pigments. So it's got a bit of lime in there. Line up the uh, line tank. <coughs> Don't want too much in there, So um, yeah, that's uh, slaked lime putties. Quick lime that's slaked in water. You get this uh, cream cheese-like substance, which is lime.
so just done my preparations, ready to uh, cob the stairs. So it's going to be cob with uh, wooden treads. Try and even them out as best I can. We'll have a bit better light tomorrow as well. So I'm just mixing up a big batch of cob, hoping that this is going to be enough to do the whole stairs. Probably is. It's one of those jobs where I can't tell at all how much I think I'm going to need. Yeah. Get this mixed up and it can sit overnight, ready for the morning. Try and get it all done in one tomorrow. Do the whole stairs. So the uh, first coat of lime wash is done all the way around now. I didn't do it, my uh, helper finished that first coat today. So we'll get the stairs done for tomorrow, hopefully, and then uh, get another coat of lime wash on the day after that. And then it's a case of getting all the building materials and crap out of here. Start doing the lights and the wiring and, and, and final jobs. Won't be long now. Last push. All right, this timber's gonna make up the uh, treads of the steps. Milled this ages ago. Um, I think I can get some nice, uh, nice treads out of it. It's oak. Yeah, it should clean up pretty well. So uh, a lot of people have been quite excited about me getting these steps done. So I haven't shown them much to be honest because they've been a bit of a mess the whole time. So uh, try and get as much footage as possible today. But I want to try and get this done today, completely done. So we'll see how it goes. Filming and stuff takes up a lot of time. And I've got a lot to do. I want it all formed as one piece, you know, so um, that really means I need to do it in one go today. Right, so we first step formed in cob. Now this is my tread. I'm not spending ages getting these to all fit perfect, so I'm going to cob them in. And um, what I've done is I've put some staples on top, so I can uh, lock it in with cob on top, and they'll lock in. And there's staples on the bottom, and that will uh, lock into the cob. So there we go. Let's get that in there, sit in where we want it, which is about there. Leveled up, get a mallet, get it knocked in first.
Right, that one fits quite well. So you see I'm not spending ages uh, fitting them or anything around all this because I can just blend all this in with cob. It actually makes it look nicer, you know? All blended in. So yeah, I'll get that ready. So that is the, that's the top surface. So we draw a line down there. That's for the U-nails on the top. And this is the bottom. Right, so uh, day's over, it's going to be dark soon, and we got halfway. But I'm pleased with how it's going, and we got to a point where I can stop. And it was starting to get a bit annoying anyway, because um, I've had to pack that step up, because it started, kept trying to sag on me. So it would be good to give it a bit of drying time. But yeah, and also I was increasing a bit quickly, and starting to get to the point where you'd start to hit your head on there if I carried on at the same level. So I've put in a landing, so there's bits of wood, there's three bits, three wooden treads there, and then we'll go up that way. So uh, do the other half tomorrow. Yeah. Alright, hey everyone. So I uh, never did start doing the stairs again the next day, because I uh, pulled my shoulder again. Not my shoulder, it's my trap muscle down my neck. I keep managing to pull it for some reason. It's just uh, lifting a bucket of cob, just with that motion. And it just later on that evening just started hurting and uh, now I can't redo really a lot. So I'm uh, going to carry on today but I've got a um, mystery helper and my friend is here to uh, do a load of grunt work with me. But yeah, the stairs are looking good the first half so hopefully get the second half done today. Um, all I'm going to be doing is making the treads because I'm on light duties and yeah, my friend's going to be uh, moving on the cob. So right, let's get to work. The uh, wood for this is oak and it's um it's from the woodland i can't remember if i said that already but yeah it's from my own woodland i milled it in a video a while ago chainsaw milled rough as anything but lovely timber some in and then just with some gaps between them to bind the cob in. We're just using uh, rocks to fill out a bit of gaps because otherwise we won't have the cob and the cob takes well, a lot of work. Too much it's cob it slumps more then as well. Yeah right? that's it and um, you know the cob takes a lot of work to mix and stuff and, yeah. uh, and the rocks don't. So no exactly. <laughs> so yeah use rocks where we can. That's what keeps my shoulder in. Hey. Tipping out buckets, that's what did my shoulder in. 
Is it? Yeah. Right, carry the way. No, no, you're fine. Okay, from the back. You're fine. Can you size that up so if it fits, if it does, I can get the staples in. No? No. A bit off that front corner, it. Just want me to uh, saw off. No. There it is, give a step. I've got my measure. Thank you. Just all sticks to your shoes. Balls on your feet. It does, you end up just walking Yeah, it's head, horrible. You heavy just, you shoes, feel yeah. like you're wearing stilts or something. Step going in, last wooden step anyway. The, um, you know, happy days. The, uh, the last step will be a bit of concrete to tie into the slab. Yeah, it's all going well. Bit of cleaning up to do. Uh, yeah, I had one here, yeah. Oh yeah, it's self leveling isn't it? Yeah, we'll leave it a bit and then uh, Yeah, smooth it off, pack it down. You can sponge it in. Yeah. 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 Looks good though, doesn't it? Yeah. They come out really well. Yeah, so I'll finish off the cover, get it something like yeah. ready for brushing it. Let that and set a bit. Back on this yeah. That looks really good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, that's us done for the day, the evening. I'm gonna uh, brush it off, sand them up, line wash it, and then uh, that be done for this staircase. But yeah, it looks really nice in here with the uh, the lighting. <laughs> My friend Raf. 
the uh, responsible for half the staircase because I pulled my shoulder. But yeah, it's looking really nice in here now. Don't know how well it'll come out because it usually goes grainy with such low light. Yeah, right, it is the next day and uh, today it's a bit early but it's, uh, it is mostly set. Just kick that by accident. It's a bit soft still but putting the lime wash on when it's soft does actually work quite well because you can blend it all in. I'm going to get this all uh, brushed off. Right, that's looking better isn't it? I haven't got very good lighting in here at the minute, so uh, it's the best I can do, I'm afraid. Yeah, concrete's not set yet, so I'm going to leave that shuttering on for a bit. Right, so I've got a real busy day today. Uh, lime wash, sand the stairs, put a coat all the way around here, edit a video, get it out to you before about 4 or 5 o'clock. Because it's Friday today and this video is hopefully going out today because I haven't got a video out for a while because I'm just so busy getting the, all these tools and machines in and set up. Yeah, the lighting in here is, is bad for filming but it really makes the uh, building look excellent. Yeah, loving it. Anyway, let's uh, get to work, busy day. Right, get this lime washed. I just gave it a coat above it. And uh, I don't mind if I get a bit on the treads because it's um, going to sand them in a bit. Starting to look a bit better, isn't it? So now I'm just going to let that dry for a little while and then I shall sand all the steps, give them a bit of oil, and then they're done. Right, I decided I'm not going to sand them because they've already been through a planer. I'm just going to uh, Clean them up. Punch. All right, so I got the uh, bulk of the mud off the treads so I made a bit more mess so I'm going to come along and uh, redo the second coat along the sides and then they'll be done. Right, we're going to call them done. They just need drying time now. Otherwise, I can't uh, can't get them any bit better or any cleaner. Yeah, I think they turned out really nice. And here we've got about a thousand quids worth of oak treads, but it didn't cost me anything because it's a tree that fell down in our woods. Yeah, that's a bit of a change from what it was before, anyway. probably noticed that the uh, headroom is a little bit low here 
fine for me, because I'm not that tall. A tall person would hit their forehead on that, which is no good. <coughs> I'll probably just cut a little arc out of that, so that gives plenty of clearance things. It's only a tiny little bit, because you step down before you reach here. So, yeah. <coughs> I think just a uh, cut out will be fine for that. Right, so I think that's going to conclude our video for this week. Um, really good job done, the stairs. It's been a pain getting up and down them because they've been so uneven and just messy and yeah, through the year. Uh, lime wash is done. So all that's left to do is windows, uh, plug sockets and lights. And then yeah, we're going to get some better lighting because I just reviewed back some of the footage and yeah, it's a bit grainy because we didn't have good lighting down there. Yeah, it was just that little light there shining down it. <clears throat> yeah, not like I can do about that. Soon we'll have the lights working in here, plugs, everything. I've got to get this floor cleaned up a bit. And uh, then I can start assembling all these lovely tools. We can actually start using the workshop and make some hydroelectric turbines. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.